Commando Show, episode 002. And we are going to be going over the bank's big ass ram air for the 6 7 Cummins. Man, look at this thing right here. This is with the dry filter. Which I'm excited about that. Look at this thing. Look at this freaking filter, dude. This thing is huge. I would expect nothing less from Gail Banks. Absolutely, I would expect nothing less. So in the box, we've got the Super Scoop itself. Some little bubble wrap. Big ass filter. Various clamps. The down pipe going from the intake to the turbo. And... The instruction manual. Yep. I'm assuming that's what that is. Yes, that is what that is. All right. So on this truck currently, it just has the regular stock intake, a little bitty filter. So, excuse the messy garage as we're getting ready for Christmas around here, but we're about to do a little install. All right, so the install guide is a QR code from Banks. As soon as you pull that up, it pulls up the uh, installation manual for this vehicle. So here we have all the parts kind of laid out. I mean, look at how freaking big this thing is. I'm not a small guy. And that's a monster friggin' air intake, dude. This is gonna be cool. So to start off, I want you to remove the negative battery cables from both sides and then the next thing that's going to come off is this plastic intake scoop right here then we'll get down to the nitty-gritty all right so we got all 12 of the little plastic rivets out so i believe this guy oh no we didn't you know what there's a couple little hiders back here i forgot about those two suckers right okay let's try this again see if she wants to come loose what are we stuck on? So we're just clipped under there. Clipped right there. Get out of there. All right. Oh, we're making progress. Boys and girls, we are making progress. All right. Oh, isn't that bad? She is out of there. Uh, not as dirty as I thought it would be. But then again, this is a 2020 and only has 14,000 miles on it, so it's not that bad. All right, let's carry on here. Pardon the wind, guys. It's a little windy down here in Texas right now, but the next step is to remove these two sensors from the original intake housing. Pretty, stra pretty straightforward. Okay, so that was a huge pain in the butt, but you got to pop this little clip off and then you can get to the rest of it to undo the clip on that guy. Next is to remove the scoop from the rest of the truck and there's a bolt here and one exactly on the other side. All right, so the scoop's off. Next is to remove that hose clamp. So once you have loosened this hose clamp up, the whole housing and the scoop are gonna come out together. Little side-by-side -side comparison, but holy crap, the Banks is way bigger than this little tiny thing. 
next step is to remove this guy right here with the hose clamp down on the turbo. Okay, so we got the hose clamp loose. Let's see if this dude will come out of here. All right. Hello, turbo. All right, so the next part is transferring these two sensors over onto the bank's tube. Pretty simple. Next step was to remove the three grommets and put them on this guy. The next thing is dropping the housing into there. Next step is to slip this guy onto the turbo and clamp it down with these here clamps. Okay, so down in here we have connected the little boot on one side, left the other side loose, and I have a feeling we're about to slip the tube on. All right, so the tube and the, the actual intake itself, sorry, I got the hiccups, is on. All right, so the rest of what is left to do after plugging the clips in is to get these two guys put back on. Pretty simple. All right. So she is done. I think it looks pretty good. Scoops back on. This stuff just easily slips together, no big deal. Four little screws here. And don't forget this band clamp because I almost did. Okay.